stand up? My Vanguard! Flag of Raijin, Corpusant! Hope Child, Turio. So you're playing Angel Feather, huh? I'd say your clan suits you a little more than your outfit. <laughs> you really are a comedian. I hope you can put your money where your mouth is. Cause if not... She reminds me a lot of you when you get angry. Hmm? What? I'm never like that, am I? <laughs> Is Naoki gonna be okay? Suiko looks intense. I don't know if he just doesn't realize it or if he's actually that fearless. Either way, that guy's gotta have some guts to be able to stay down there. No matter what happens, I'm having nothing to do with this fight. With a boost from Turiel, Million Ray Pegasus is taking aim at Dragonic Deathside. <sighs> I end my turn. With that attack, Naoki's sitting at three damage. Suiko, on the other hand, only has two. She's taking the lead. You think I don't know that? The match has barely gotten started. I can get back on top of this fight in no time. And whatever happens, I can't let that silly outfit get in my head. She card fights like anyone else. Oh? Huh? If you have something to say, then say it. It's not like your playstyle is special either. What gives? Wait, how could you possibly figure out what I was just thinking? Between your boneheaded comments and your exaggerated facial expressions, you're not making it very hard for me. And like your personality, your tactics are pretty straightforward. Or should I say simple? <sighs> Never mind my character. This witch is putting down my game. That guy has some serious priority issues. <laughs> I draw. I don't think you'll still be insulting me once you see what I have in store for you. Pierce through my enemy's will. Victory is straight ahead. Now, I ride. Armor Break Dragon! So, he has an Armor Break Dragon, huh? If he's able to master that unit, I'd say he could actually be a legitimate threat at the championships. That's a big if, though. I call Thunderstorm Dragoon and attack core memory Armoros! I'll guard. Stopped. In that case, armor breaks coming for your vanguard. Well, go on then. Twin drive check. It's a draw trigger. 
the power goes to Thunderstorm. Second check. Thunderstorm's up next. Hitting your Vanguard. Okay, that makes four damage. The tables have turned. It should be easy to guard whatever she throws my way and finish her off. And I'm done. I think in his head, he's already won it. Part of the reason people call him simple. <laughs> Blue winged angel, overcome this pestilence before us with your eternal energy. Swoop down, prophecy celestial Romiel. Ride. And I call. To start things off, Raquel bombards Thunderstorm. With a boost from thousands, Romiel attacks Armor Break. And since her attack is aimed at your vanguard, Romiel's skill is activated. Adding 2,000 power. I don't guard. Twin drive. Check. Oh, is this a draw trigger? Let's see. Why don't I give the 5,000 power to Million? And draw. <laughs> That's my fourth damage. Nothing to worry about. She still has to deal two more. <laughs> you are way too easy to read. Supported by Turiel, Million unleashes on armor break. I guard that with Eradicator Dragon Mage, and Thunderstorm intercepts. Mm, nicely done. I take back what I said. It would seem you aren't such a bad card fighter after all. <laughs> it's about time you admitted that I'm a... However, huh? I wouldn't say you're that good either. Why is that? For all your efforts, I haven't even broken a sweat yet. You'll have to try a lot harder if you want to make this fight fun. Can you handle it, Naoki Ishida? I end my turn. <sighs> Not having fun, huh? I gotta say, that hurts. It hurts, but I won't be the only one that's hurting soon enough. Watch! When the impossible crushes reason and willpower smashes through its boundaries, it is then you will know true control. Armor Break Dragon's Limit Break! Try this on for size! Dropping three from his hand on top of a counter blast of three. That's a huge price to pay. You're telling me he's putting everything on the line for this one. But what if he fails? Big results huh? come with big sacrifices. Are you ready for the effects of this limit break? Both players' front row rear guards are forced to retire from the game. In addition, 10,000 power goes to armor break. Plus, he's triple critical. He gets that much power and goes triple critical on top of the other effect? Armor Break Dragon's Limit Break taps into the might of sealed ancient dragons. He's giving up his ability to guard and risking the game on a massive assault. I call Dragon Dancer Julia, and then I activate her skill, allowing me to reveal the card on top of the deck. Yes, Eradicator Wyvern Guard. I'm able to superior call it because it's a grade one. And finally, I call one more armor break to the field. Well, at least he doesn't have to attack with a weakened battle formation. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> he has one card left in his hand. I must admit, I'm impressed with his resolve. He has the strength to see this through. Still. Let's go! Julia! No guard. With a boost from Agnes, my Vanguard Armor Break Dragon is attacking Romiel. At the same time, Agnes is counterblast. It adds a massive 3,000 power to Armor Break, 
which means he's up to 30,000. <laughs> it's not that I dislike spirited players or anything. I just really love to put them in their place. Huh? Guard. She had enough cards in hand to put up a 25,000 shield? That means I'll have to draw triggers on both these drive checks. My twin drive. The first? Ah, I didn't get it. And the second? You're kidding! If only this trigger had been on the first draw. Never mind. The effects go to my rear guard armor break dragon. Okay. My final armor break swings in. I guard that, too. Oh, how wasn't I able to finish her this turn? <laughs> he just couldn't get through. It's not like she has many cards left in her hand. She has no frontline presence. It's gonna be hard for her to deal him two damage. He certainly has enough win conditions on the board, if he can guard against her offense. The question is, can he? Do you have the resolution to overcome the storm? These popular units are back. Storm of the Blue Cavalry, now on sale. Also featuring another secret rare, Bushy Road. Card Fight Vanguard. The endless peals of the brilliant sky. Together with these special cards. Divine Lightning Radiance, on sale December 18th. Bushy Road. I draw. <laughs> Tell me, what's so funny, huh? I was thinking. This fight is getting amusing. So what? It's just such a shame. Because I'm gonna put an end to it this turn. <sighs> Chief Nurse Shamseel onto Ramiel. I break ride. Thanks to that break ride, uh... I add the million in the damage zone to my hand and replace it with the top card from my deck. Then I give 10,000 power to Chief Nurse Shamseel. You had me worried there. But adding 10,000 power for a break ride isn't anything special, if that's it. No. Huh? The problem is she put a copy of Anniel in the damage zone. Hold on a second. <sighs> but that means... Yeah. As it stands, both Thousand Ray Pegasus and Chief Nurse Shamseel have abilities that are activated when a card is placed here in the damage zone. Ah! Playing healing melodies of endless love to comfort the broken and battered units that have withdrawn from the front lines of the battlefield. That is the true mission of the Angel Feathers. Listen to the Song of Love. Their masterpiece for the injured. It's not just one of them. They're both getting the boost. I call Million Ray, Turiel's Counterblast. Assault Hospice moves to the damage zone. Huh? Eternal Harmonies. Their masterpiece is played once again. <sighs> Now there's three powering up. Also, I flip Crimson Mind Baruch in the damage zone, meaning its skill activates. For this turn, as long as my vanguard is an Angel Feather unit, 3,000 power is added. Man, this girl works fast. She has Sham Seal at 27,000. Backed by Thousand Ray Pegasus, Sham Seal attacks your vanguard. With support, she has 38,000? I'm not finished yet. Uh, Check out Shamseel's Limit Break. Uh, I replace one card in the damage zone with a card from my hand. This is bad. Real bad. I'll play their masterpiece yet another time. <sighs> 40 
2,000 power. There's no way. I can't defend no matter what I do. My twin drive. What's this? Wait. I got one. A critical trigger. I guess I'll give the power to Million, and naturally the critical will go to Shant Seal. happen <sighs> I lost <laughs> that was surprisingly fun see you around <laughs> have to apologize that was a friendly it doesn't matter if you win or lose no I think I finally realized something I felt like I'd been getting better just being around you guys but now I know it was no more than a silly pipe dream now key I'll never be good enough what a joke I am <laughs> uh, this isn't uh, like you huh huh you can't cope with it? You crying? Did I hear Naoki blubbering like a baby? I'll tell you one thing. It sure isn't becoming of a so-called tough guy. Uh, the last thing we need to do is dwell on the fact that you're a horrible card fighter, Naoki. Each one of us knows that's the solemn truth. You are the extra baggage of the Miyagi Card Fight Club. Your very existence holds us back. Not so harsh. Shingo! If you're weak, then simply get stronger. Mm -hmm. Luckily, you have plenty of time to improve before the school championships start. And I, Shingo Kamoi, promise to put you through the proverbial ringer. Hold on. All right, then. Let's begin by looking at your deck. No, before that, we need to evaluate what went wrong during today's card fight, don't we? Yeah, that sounds good. I'm glad you're coming around. Facing your weaknesses head-on and moving decisively to correct them is the best way to get stronger. Although you're still on the level of a water flea, as soon as you've worked your way up to the level of a small rodent, I'll consider adding your name to the bottom of my future Kamoi army. How dare you, bull cut! What is it now, you? A water flea? Who are you calling a water flea? Y you gotta hear me out! They use two sets of antennae to survive in the wild, and they even process oxygen through their skin. That's pretty cool, don't you think? Shut it! It's one thing to call me a water flea, but a small rodent is just gross! Oh, I think it's flattering! Oh, you think Why are these two the arguing thing? again? Racing. I don't know. <laughs> Realizing that you're weak is the first big step towards becoming a better card fighter. I'd say he has huge potential. I agree. You know, huh? it might have been fate that we got sent to different schools, huh? Hmm? You're falling behind! You're quick! Woo. I feel like I've been getting into better shape lately. Hmm? Hmm? Well, if it isn't Aichi Sendo. Hey, Ren! <gasps> Who's that guy? Ren Suzukamori! He's the top fighter on Team Asteroid and one of the best in the world! <laughs> oh. So then he's pretty good, I take it? <laughs> I just say he was one of the best? Osaka, Tetsu, you leaving me out of the action? We wouldn't if you'd show up on time. I saw the cutest cat basking in the sun on the way and took a little nap with it. Then you must be really thirsty, right? Kate, I'll get you a drink. Here, this'll help wake you up. <gasps> wow, thanks so much. Mm, Suiko, your coffee is amazing, as always. You think? I use the same coffee beans as everyone else. Ren, you have to stop fooling around and pay more attention to the Vanguard Club, seeing as you are its captain. That's because you forced me to. I never wanted to be leader. It's okay. You don't need to worry yourself with any of the daily club activities. As vice captain, I can take care of whatever you don't feel like doing. Thanks, I appreciate that. You 
should stop. That guy doesn't look like he'd be that good at card fighting. He's strong. Don't judge a book by its cover. Well, then, I suppose there is something I could do as captain. Why don't we show our teammates the level that we bring to the table, Aichi? Huh? You see, I finally feel like I've found a clan that works with my playing style. Blaster Dark? That's a Shadow Paladin deck. <laughs> It seems this was well worth the visit. I'm kidding. We should save it for the VF High School Championships, don't you think? Uh, sure. Now, I think that's enough spying for one day. We'll continue this later. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks for coming, everyone. In the end, I was the only one of us who fought. We came all the way down here to scout their team and didn't even gather any meaningful data. What a bust. I still can't believe they would just skip over my turn like that, right? Yeah. Did you feel that, Aichi? Huh? Ren. Listen. Huh? We've been brought from overseas to act as international challengers for the VF High School Championships. You were saying that. You sure are huh? slow. We were invited here, so we don't have to go through the preliminaries. The tournament directors gave us a buy straight into the main event. In other words, between you guys and Fukuhara, only one of your teams are gonna make it out of the regionals. Only one will face me. That's right. <gasps> There's a reason they're part of Asteroid. They're among the best. Yeah. If I hadn't gotten lucky with that trigger, Asuka would have beaten me today. And who knows what the other members of their club are capable of. <sighs> Will it be Ren Suzukamori that stands before me when our paths cross once more? Or you? I look forward to it. You okay? Is there something wrong? Huh? Oh, no. Either way, I thought I'd head back to the school and get started on Naoki's training. You want to help, Aichi? It's gonna be awesome. You bet. Okay, I'm gonna practice like there's no tomorrow. Watch out, asteroid. That's the spirit. Though you're still a water flea. Hmm? Oh, no, nothing. Darn toot. You coming? Yeah. They're gonna be at regionals. And in order for us to reach the VF High School Championships, we'll have to find a way to win against Ren.
Darn it, I lost. You should see it as a good opportunity for improvement. Don't act like such a know-it-all. You better be ready, because I'm going to work you harder than a mule. We can train together, guys. Huh? Looks like the school's having a festival. Guess it's that time of year. Next time, drama at the school festival. What? A stage? A play? And I have to be in it? I can't believe I'm finally going to get the chance to show everyone my creative side. If this is it, then we're in trouble. What's the dance club going to do? Uh, I think they'll be at their booth recruiting. What? I thought they'd be shaking it on stage. You're, You're disgusting. disgusting. Shaking it? How ignorant. They're athletic performers and your statement degrades them. You should apologize to every woman on Earth. Seriously. So sorry. The card fight club's gonna be part of the festival too? School rules require every club to participate in one way or another. That's great. I thought we'd be left out since we haven't been around for very long. Hmm. We're looking forward to it. Hey, we can teach people how to play the game. Sure, and show off all the great cards. This'll be a great way to find new members. Oh, right. That reminds me. Uh huh? Suave? Yes. Because we're adding you to the festival at the last minute, we only have space for you on the main stage. Which means you'll have to prepare a thrilling Vanguard-themed short play. Huh? I can't act! We have to put on a play? Uh-huh. We have to be part of the festival, and the auditorium stage is the last open space left. This is gonna be ridiculous. Huh. We can totally handle it. Don't you guys think? We'll show them the card fight club can rise to the challenge. I don't think you know what we're in for, Naoki. There's a lot of work that goes into putting on a play. Huh? Uh. Can you help? You need a script and a director, not to mention their costumes we have to make and a set to build. How are we gonna do that with just the five of us? You're right. Hmm. Speaking of which, Shingo's not here. Come in handy someday! What's in there? Hmm? It's just a bunch of books. No, they're scripts. As the ultimate Vanguard fanboy, I've written hundreds of screenplays over the past couple of years. Awesome. So can we use one? <laughs> it looks like my career as a writer-director is getting started sooner than I expected. Huh? And don't worry about costumes, because we're here any time to help. And there's no need to thank us. Wow, you're the best. Hmm, it's my army to the rescue. OK, this is going to be great. <clears throat> then we're all set. The Card Fight Club is putting on a play. Yeah! yeah! I bet they're freaking out at this very moment. As if those amateurs could manage it in only 10 days. Sir. The entire student body will see their performance. Everyone's gonna get to watch them fail. I wouldn't be surprised if they split up out of embarrassment. <laughs> An upright floating stem in my tea. This means good luck. Well, no way! Misaki will be performing on stage at the Miyagi Festival? She sent me over to tell you she has rehearsals after school for a while. Well. This is the first play she's been in. <laughs> She'll be in the spotlight. I'll put this camera to good use and capture every moment. Sounds good. Aichi and Misaki are gonna try acting? Seems like something that'd be good to check out. Kai, you down? Whatever. Well, I think that's about as excited as he gets. <laughs> you guys missed the point as usual. If their card fight club's doing a show, that means my darling Corin will be on the stage. <laughs> Predictable as always. Oh, Corin, my love! Oh. Hmm. Our story begins a long time ago with little Sage Marin taking a walk down a forest path. He's out collecting bamboo when he chops a glowing bamboo stalk. And out comes maiden CEO Amate Rasu! Amate Rasu's beauty is unparalleled, and although she is pursued by the King of Knights, Alfred, she's unsure of what her heart truly wants. And now her days of peace are numbered. 
tragedy strikes from out of the blue, and Amate Rasu is kidnapped by the terrifying and powerful Vowing Sword Dragon. Sadness abounds as Vowing Sword Dragon locks her away in a dark cave. But nothing can stop the will of a king as Alfred fights his way through to save her. Are you all right, Amate Rasu? Alfred, I always knew you'd come for me. For you, I would do anything. <laughs> and so it came to pass. The two lived happily ever after. The end. I love how I've managed to transform the game of Vanguard into a heartwarming high fantasy. <sighs> what a great story. I really like the part where Bowing Sword Dragon showed up and kicked butt. It's weird. Well, we have to do it. We don't have much time as it is. <laughs> Allow me to tell you what roles you'll take. Why do you get to choose our roles? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because I'm the writer and the director? It's my way or the highway, pal. Hmm. Our little sage Marin will be played by Aichi Sendo. Uh, sure. And it's only fitting that Naoki should get to be the bad guy. Huh? That's perfect! CEO Amate Rasu will be played by Misaki Tokura. <laughs> that leaves the hero, the King of Knights, Alfred. None other than Korin Tatsunagi! Why me? By making Teen Idol Korin the hero of our tale, we ensure that everyone's gonna love it! If we can impress this crowd, there's no telling what could happen! We might head off to the bright lights of Broadway! <laughs> <laughs> Imagine my name decked out in lights! Misaki is just perfect for the role of Amate Rasu! Making these costumes is so fun! And who's your character? Oh, Little Sage Marin. I'm definitely going to have to buy something to record it with. That's not necessary. <laughs> hey, Misaki! The lens is clean if you want to come down and run your lines for me. We should document this. You're officially uninvited. Back from their break, let's have a hand for the Ultra Rare. <laughs> OK, girls, let them hear it. We, we are, are the Ultra Rare. rare. What do you mean you can't come to rehearsals? The group got a new job. It's gonna be a lot of work to prepare for this. You realize you agreed to be the hero. Sorry. Corin, you could be big, real big, but you're throwing it all away. Let's just start huh? rehearsing. Uh... Do you know how hard it must be to juggle schoolwork with her other responsibilities? All we can do is get ourselves ready and trust that she'll do the same. Good call. Yeah, Corn's a pro when it comes to this kind of stuff, so we should just focus on getting our own lines memorized. Mm. Hmm. There's no other choice. Aichi, you'll have to read Corn's lines today. Oh, uh, sure. Okay, let's start with the climactic scene where Alfred defeats the dragon and rescues Amate Rasu. Oh, and with a little feeling this time. <laughs> I won't forget about this, Alfred! Oh, right. Let's see. Uh, you aren't injured, are you, Amaterasu? Alfred, I always knew you'd come for me. You have my thanks. Man, she is such a babe. Wonder what she's doing walking back and forth like that. Hmm. Hey, freshman, what are you doing over there? Huh? Uh, uh, we weren't doing anything! You kids can't run in the hall either! Uh, we're, we're sorry! sorry. Huh? <sighs> she's so dedicated. I saw you rehearsing in the courtyard. So on top of being a student and a pop star, you also have to be an actress now. Eh, it's no big deal. I'm a pro, you know. Well then, we have a dress rehearsal at three the day before the show. That should be enough for a pro like you.
Gotcha. I won't miss it. Alfred, I always knew you'd come for me. Hmm? That line's my favorite. It's on page 27. Having that girl's life must be stressful. Wait, what did I forget inside? Ah, uh, who cares? It's not like it's going anywhere. Uh, that was Miss Tatsunagi, wasn't huh? it? There was urgent news I needed to get to her. This puts me in a real bind. Uh, I bet you can run really fast. Well, yeah. Then you'd have the speed to chase down Corin and deliver my message. Sure. And she totally left us hanging this time. Who does Miss Teen Idol think she's messing with, huh? Not even having the decency to turn up to our dress rehearsal. What now? Hmm. Vi Schwartz embark on a new adventure with Finn and Jake in the land of Ooh, together with Princess Bubblegum, Marceline, Bimo, and more. Adventure Time, now a Vi Schwartz trading card game. Cal Deck Plus booster pack and supply set, now on sale. Pushy Road. Vi Schwartz, meet Ma, a powerful Esper, who is set on living a normal life, and the friends he makes along the way. Mob Psycho 100, now a Vi Schwartz English original. Cal Deck Plus booster pack and supply set, on sale December 18th. Pushy Road. I'm starting to wonder if Corn even likes being in this club. You know how busy she's been. I don't care. If she can't make it to the dress rehearsal, what does that say for the real show? She's gonna be there. <sighs> I really thought I'd made a brilliant casting choice. That's it? That's our plan! Mm -hmm. I found us a new hero. We need someone with star power. We've had Aichi Sendo with us all along. <sighs> what? Great call. I forgot Aichi was famous for winning those big tournaments and stuff. You can play Alfred if she bails on us. Then we don't have to worry. Why did I want Corin when I could have had Aichi Sendo? Why, you're the budding star in the making that's gonna get the show to Broadway. Agreed. Only I don't know where that is. Guys, come on. We don't usually agree on things, Naoki. Yep, nice idea, nerd. Hmm. There's a lot more ideas, or hey, we were having a nice moment, and you call me a nerd! Whoa, you two need to calm down. So, uh, can I help you? <laughs> Kai, you might not want to give him the death glare while he's working. <laughs> he was skimping on the sauce. Hmm? I got us all some programs, guys! Says they won't be on until two, so we've got some time. Hey, weren't there six of us? Just under two hours to curtains. Where is she? I'm pretty sure Rekka said that the Ultra Rare would be filming until around noon or so today. Yeah, that's right. They'll get here soon. Oh, why me? I knew that girl had too much on her plate to begin with. She doesn't think we're worthy of fitting into her busy schedule. 
A reason for our brave leader to save the day. We ride King of Nights, Aichi Sendo. Wait, we're not on until two, so there's still a chance she could make it. Mm-hmm. Ah. Why are you here? Well, sorry if you were expecting someone else, but I have some news. Unfortunately, there was a mistake in the program. We had to shuffle a few things around, and your time on stage was moved to 1 p.m. Huh? No way! That's too soon. How can you do this? What's wrong? The last I checked, this was Miyagi Academy, and our students are prepared to deal with any challenge. So if you can't handle a little bump in the road, then maybe you aren't cut out to attend this school, huh? <sighs> Schedule. The Card Fight Club stage show will now take place at 1 p.m. The Card Fight Club? Didn't your friend try to join them? Yeah, but he wasn't good enough. We're gonna check it out, right? For sure! One of the Ultra Rare Girls is in that club! Yeah! I didn't think it would get this full. Get real, Shin. Corrin's performing after all. My, I could really use some help with Misaki's costume. Uh, Sorry, uh, I got my hands full. Heavy. Hey, guys. Bakari. Uh, I came to help because I heard they changed your showtime. As I expected, it's chaos backstage. Uh, is this your stylist? Uh, oh, this is Aichi's little <laughs> sister, Emmy. That's my name. Nice to meet you. It seems like your club can't catch a break. First, your rehearsal gets delayed, then they move your performance up an hour. Huh? What was that? Try not to move. They changed the time of your dress rehearsal. It was at five instead of three yesterday. Huh? Who said that? Suabe. The vice president of the student council made me tell Corin about the change. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Misaki, Korn will come, won't she? <sighs> of course she will. Let's go. Yeah. Our story begins with little Sage Marin, out for a walk in the bamboo forest. <laughs> what is that? Why is this bamboo glowing? When Marin finally cut his way through, he discovered that the beautiful CEO, Amate Rasu, was hidden inside. There's Misaki! Amate Rasu grew up beautiful and strong. But alas, the good days would soon end. Wow! <laughs> Bowing Sword Dragon is here to cause trouble! <laughs> Amate Rasu is coming with me! You can't take her away! Amate Rasu was locked up inside a dark cave. All she could do was hope and wait for the day a hero would come save her. Waiting. We can't stall anymore. Put on this hat and let's go have an epic fight. Yeah, but... Listen, bud. If Alfred doesn't appear at the end, this show is gonna get really weird. Forget about Corrin. She already forgot about us. Yeah, I guess so. The play does need an ending. I just wish Corrin had shown up like she said she was going to. Hurry up and get changed, my man. I'll see you out on stage. That's not good. I hope everyone's okay. This stinks! Hmm? Can't you guys do anything right? Why hasn't Corin been on stage yet? Seriously, we want Ultra Rare! That's the only reason we're watching! Bring Corin quickly and start giving us what we want to roll lead a rebellion! Corin's <laughs> the best! The rest are a mess! Oh dear. It's no wonder their set fell apart like that. The materials budget we gave them was so small, it had to be flimsy. Uh, hmm. 
No way. I broke... Did I... I did this? No. My dreams. They're over. It can't be. I was on my way to Broadway. Sorry, guys. I can fix it if you give me a couple minutes. Naoki, you can't save it now. Aichi's right. Huh? You know whose fault this is? Stop it. You're wrong. Huh? Hmm? I'm here, Amaterasu. Oh. oh, I'm so glad. A moment ago, I was about to say that this play was a failure because of Kamoi. That's what the ko was. Kamoi. Yeah, that's what I heard. Our hero! The King of Knights, Alfred, has just arrived in the nick of time! Lauren, I've been waiting for you! Alfred, I knew you'd come for me. Hmm. That's good. Why don't you... Uh, I can't fight. Why? Now, without further ado, the climactic battle you all came to see! But now he can't card fight you because he ruined his costume. What do we do? Improvise. I have no interest in slaying dragons. Instead, I'll take him on. What? Is that Daigo? That really is Daigo. Quick, give me your camera. D -d 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 Daigo's in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the ultimate celebrity card fighter in the room with us. What's he doing here? Legendary card fighter Daigo? Legendary, huh? He's cool, but is he strong? Are you dense? When it comes to Vanguard, he's basically a god! This is incredible. I would have never thought he'd come to our school. Next time, Legendary School Festival. Who's gonna win? Hang on, what about the end of our play? It's messed up. No problem. I had a feeling something like this would happen, so like any good director, I made a backup plan. You better have one. I'm here, Amaterasu. Our hero! The King of Knights, Alfred, has just arrived in the nick of time! Corin, I've been waiting for you! Alfred, I knew you'd come for me. Hmm. That's good. Why don't you... Uh, I can't fight. Why? Now, without further ado, the climactic battle you all came to see! But now he can't card fight you because he ruined his costume. What do we do? Improvise. I have no interest in slaying dragons. Instead, I'll take him on! 
What? Is that Daigo? That really is Daigo. Oh, Quick, get your camera! D -d 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 Daigo's in the house! Ladies and gentlemen, we have the ultimate celebrity card fighter in the room with us! What's he doing here? No way! I've seen him on TV! So why is he here? What's going on? I... I have no idea. Look at me! She loves you, man! Who doesn't? Huh? Hey, Kamui. Uh, oh, hey. Uh, you know that guy? Yeah, we met once. Ah! So that's Daigo. Daigo's about to get on my stage. I can't believe it. Ah, the star power. It's a dream come true. It's nice to see you both. Uh, uh. Oh. <clears throat> I know Vowing Sword Dragon didn't attack on its own. You were the one who sent it. <laughs> well, aren't you a clever one? That's right. I'm the villain of this story. And guess what? You can't defeat me with that sword. We'll settle this with a real fight. Which means we're playing some Vanguard! No problem! I believe in you, Corin. I heard Daigo's in the auditorium! What? He must be doing something on the stage! He's hot! <laughs> Let's go! I hope he's doing autographs! Let me handle this, Amaterasu. <sighs> I'll make you pay for kidnapping this poor girl. Go, Alfred. I believe. So much for our plan. Uh, there's still a chance the crowd might hate the show? <laughs> it's actually him! I can't believe my eyes! Eee, he's such a cutie! <clears throat> <laughs> Bringing my camera was a great idea! We came to check out a show, and it looks like we're getting a lot more than we bargained for, eh, guys? You got that right! Yeah, we hit the jackpot! Should be good. Kick that handsome dude's butt! Hey, mister, uh -huh. you're in the way! I can't see Daigo! Down in front, come on! I Some won't let people. teenage girls intimidate me. I was here first. <sighs> Stand up! The Vanguard! Dreaming Jewel Knight Tiffany. Starting Legend Ambrosius. Now the epic nail-biting conclusion has begun with a card fight between Daigo and Alfred. Huh? Ah. I'm first. Draw. Cool. I start with a ride. Regret Jewel Knight Yuri. Ambrosius moves back. Hmm. Well, they're pretty excited. At this rate, the Card Fight Club's performance will be a success. Yes. We have no choice but to watch things unfold. If we were to try and interfere at this point, we could wind up damaging the Council's reputation. Hmm. Very well. Draw! I ride Jewel Knight Prismy. Tiffany moves. I call Shelly. <sighs> It couldn't have worked out better having the celebrities face off against each other. But why is he here? He dropped her off. Huh? Suiko. She changed her outfit. Mm. Huh? We were just finishing our shoot. The bus can't take you back to school. The driver's not back yet. Fine. I'll have to run. You're not gonna make it. My teammates are all counting on me to be there. That girl. She still cares, even though they stood her up at rehearsal. Huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you are in a hurry. Need a ride, my lady? Alt, 
take you there if you promise to card fight me. He hasn't changed a bit, huh? That explains things. I like it. This Daigo sounds like a cool guy. We needed a hero to come save the day, and boom, here he is. Uh huh. We got two heroes for the price of one. Boosted by Tiffany, Prismi attacks. No guard. Drive check. Critical trigger. <laughs> Incredible! Alfred takes an early lead by dealing Daigo three damage! Right on! The blonde one is my girlfriend! You're amazing! That's ultra rare for you. I'd better get serious or I'll find myself in a world of trouble. Anyone ever told you you're a tough person to read? Yeah? I think I've heard that. You appeared out of nowhere today. Would you care to explain what you're doing in town? It's not a coincidence. Hmm. It's just another day in the life of Daigo. But for now, we fight. It's my turn. Draw. I ride Battle Flag Knight, Constance. I call. Shelly attacks. Guard. Oh, let's do this. Constance is next. <laughs> I superior call, Rengal. Supported by Rengal, Olwen. <laughs> Shelly swings in. Sybil. Guard. Go, Tracy. Yes! Five damage! Win it for me! I stand and draw. Now. Proud Crusader of the White Order. I ride White Dragon Knight Pendragon! Pendragon's skill. He gains 5,000 power this turn. Gordon attacks Sybil. Hit her, Pendragon. No guard. Twin drive check. The first. And second. It's a heal trigger. Ah, what a turn of events! Luck is also a factor in this game. One damage is recovered and 5,000 power will be added to Daigo's next attack, Owen. When charges. <laughs> Daigo hmm. took the lead. <sighs> Corin. Hmm. Do you have the resolution to overcome the storm? These popular units are back. Storm of the Blue Cavalry, on sale November 20th. Also featuring another secret rare, Bushy Road. New cards featuring popular units are coming to Vanguard. Which unit will you want on your side? Let's card fight with Vanguard now. Don't forget to look out for this, Bushy Road. was on the verge of victory! But Daigo, with his incredibly cool attitude and style, has set his sights on Amaterasu and is roaring back to take the lead! It is close. She's one of the best, but even someone with her skills struggles against a fighter like Daigo. <sighs> Beat him. Alfred, I'm here for you. I've got your back. Your friends are with you. <clears throat> Gotta hang in there, Alfred. Don't let him bully you. Don't give up. Our hopes and dreams are resting on your shoulders. 
Never forget that you are the hero! Thank you. Believe in yourself! Years from now, our children will ask, how did you two fall in love? And we'll say it started the day you faced Daigo! Daigo, <laughs> you're the best! You, you can, can do it! it. <laughs> wow! They sure are excited, huh? This festival was totally worth the trip. I can beat this guy. I'll show you. Hmm. Stand and draw. Light of eternity, forever unwavering in her determination. Light my path. Leading Jewel Knight Salome, ride! <laughs> Shelly moves back. Palamedes, Tiffany to the soul, giving Tracy and Prismy 3,000 power. Salome's a special uh. counterblast. Superior call. Palamedes attacks. No guard. One more to go. Boosted by Shelly, Salome's coming at ya. Burning determination, shine brighter than the sun. This is the time to release the vicious torrent. A light hidden within, limit break. 2,000 power along with plus one critical, huh? Elaine and Governor will guard. First check. Second check. Critical trigger. Giving all effects to Tracy. Prismy will boost. Tracy's attack. And that's on top of the power boost those two units already had. This attempt is crashing through at a whopping 30,000 power, folks. Blast him away. Flogel, Merit. Gordon. Huh, maybe this fairy tale doesn't have a happy ending. That's too bad for you. No way, we're not done. That's the spirit. You never know when you'll get a miracle trigger. That's what makes this game so great. Hey, it's been a fun match thus far, don't you think? Yeah! <laughs> we're leaving. And to think we wasted all this time. Suabe! Yes? Our plan backfired. They really won over the crowd. I'm aware. Uh. Stand and draw. Using Pendragon's Limit Break. I'm checking the top five cards of my deck for a Grade 3 Royal Paladin. And I superior ride a new Vanguard. He descends into the middle of this battlefield, wrapped in holy wings of light! Sanctuary Guard Dragon! With his skill, I drop one card from my hand. Ren call, superior call! <sighs> Here we go, Sanctuary Guard Dragons! Limit break! He gains 3,000 power for each of my units, grade one or less. Hmm. Get ready. Rengal attacks. Rochelle will guard. Ambrosius lends support to Sanctuary Guard Dragon. I don't guard. Twin drive, first check. The first, the second check. Blade of the Holy Sanctuary! And 
I won the game. Yeah! <laughs> oh, poor girl. This Daigo's good. But you can't forget that he's mega cool and friendly, too. Wait, what kind of play ends with the heroes losing? Yeah, how are they going to explain this one? Hmm. <sighs> Thanks, everyone. That game was a I blast. I challenge you, Daigo. What? Huh? You mean the princess is gonna try and avenge Alfred's loss? What, Misaki? Uh... I mean, Amaterasu, what are hmm. you saying? I'm gonna protect you, because that's what friends do for each other. Right on. Same goes for me. Huh? Hey, you heard him. Huh? Hmm. How dare you come here and defeat our hero like that? Magatsu Storm will rush to Alfred's aid! This play has so many great plot twists. We all challenge you. Marvelous. Hmm. Huh? Blast you! I was so close to having Princess Amaterasu, but you stopped me. of their friendship. These meddling kids have defeated me with their unbreakable bond that holds them together. Ugh, but know this, your blasted alliance will only keep me away if you remain this close. If you ever turn on each other, I'll be back and I'll be stronger than ever. Huh? Huh? Oh, 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 sorry, oh, oh, oh. mind if I cut through? Sure thing! Later, guys. We should let them finish their performance first. <laughs> of course! Mm. Misaki, Corin, this is the grand finale! Quick, hold hands! Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Thanks to a love stronger than any victory, Alfred and Amaterasu were able to triumph over the vanguard menace Daigo! They lived happily ever after for the rest of their days. The end. That was super. Yep, gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. It was awesome! That look on your face says you want a card fight against Daigo. Really? You bet I do. Way to go, card fight club! Yay, Corey! Yeah! Hey, Misaki, smile for the camera! Thank you for not giving up on me. I knew you wouldn't miss it. You're a pro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been dreaming about this moment forever, and now that it's here, I have no idea what to do with myself! Great show, huh, Emmy? Yeah! Misaki, you nailed it! Guess teamwork pays off. Looks like Corin's fitting in pretty well at her new school. Agreed. To our wonderful audience, thank you very much. I grabbed some lunch. After a show like that, I need to regain my strength, you know? <laughs> I was fabulous in that play, if I say so. Hey, you were there. What did you think? Hello? You know, it's pretty unsettling that you never talk to me. Blast. All that effort and we got nothing out of it. Yes, I'm terribly sorry, sir. <sighs> However, we couldn't have predicted that they'd bring in a huge celebrity like Daigo, right? I did my best to sabotage the arrival of that ultra-rare girl, but to no avail. That's enough. Uh. Just forget about it. Uh, do you know what the difference is between you and T? T never fails me. Oh. Just get lost. Sir. What's up with you? I never got the chance to thank Daigo. Ha! He's the coolest guy ever! I'm sure he was just happy to help us. You think? Okay. I appreciate it, wherever you are. <laughs>
Is a mystery. Yeah. Hey, I'm Taigo, champion of friendship and that sort of stuff. You sound nothing like him. <laughs> okay, team, you know what comes next. Get ready for the VF High School Regional Tournament. Next time, Hidden Fighting Spirit. Miyagi Academy Card Fight Club, let's do this. The power of friendship. He's still at it. Uh, at what? <laughs> 